Hi guys. Today is an exciting day for me. Um, I'm, I'm so excited. I've got my passenger seat right here and it's nice and upholstered, but it's on a temporary base that we've been living with. And um, today Randy's going to build the actual base for me. So let me show you what we've got going on. So here's what we've been living with. It's just a little mock-up stand that we had built to see um, how the chair was gonna work and if it could swivel and all of that. So in living with it for the past few months, we have determined that it needs to be a couple inches higher and we're also gonna pull it this way towards the driver's seat into the bus just a few more inches to um, give it a little bit wider platform to set on. So Randy is in the shops working on that right now. Let's go check out and see what he's doing. So this is the riser for Shelly's passenger seat. So we've had it mocked up only six inches tall in there. And uh, so this is eight inches up and her chair is gonna bolt on right there. I'm so excited, baby. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Plenty heavy since it's a piece of truck frame, I think. Oh. Well, that was pieces bent to weld the truck frame together, I think. Um, they were already bent. That was, was awesome. Oh, that's awesome. And it was the perfect height, huh? Exactly, yeah. It was meant to be. Yeah. That was just a temporary to see how things were gonna work. Everybody thought that was the permanent one. I was like, no, <laughs> this one. We have the base swiveled, huh? Oh, it's not, it's There's not. There's two little angle irons. It's not wide enough right here. It's not fitting right down here. Well, you see there's a angle iron down there. Up. Across yeah. the cross strut. I knew it was there. I just didn't realize these came out that far. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Small modification, huh? So all we got to do is just go cut two little notches right there. And that'll let the cross struts drop down in. And we have a couple little nicks. Little divots that we can slide into, right baby? Notches. Notches. Okay, take two people. on the base with the chair and I got the new mount for it and it's really rugged I mean it's quarter inch thick uh, u-channel built for a truck frame so I think that'll do the job but now in the positioning of the window tire well there this chair is gonna work better if we push it back eight inches is what we've decided because when it's you know, eight inches back she'll be able to see out the window better so the position of the chair determines the size of the window the wheel well determines some of that's happening there but we can just unbox this and cut a little curve on one side of this mount the other one will stay out here and just come back eight inches farther so that's where we're at plus it'll give me a platform for my feet yeah the, yeah that's the other part when it, is up here there's no place for her feet it makes it really hard for me to give her a good window to see out of because that door the door frame right there is in the way so eight inches back is going to work great for everything and she wants a little cabinet here we might have to take a little bit off the end of the table but it's all we can make it all work so so we basically just keep coming and 
living in here in the evenings and seeing how things work. But with this chair, we couldn't goof around too much because the temporary mount was pretty shaky. So we were like, don't, sh don't sit on that chair too hard because it was just about positioning it. This, but I'm gonna call Tony and Joe and see if we can get another seat belt that matches this one. And in moving this back, then we're gonna have to put a steel plate up there for that seat belt to anchor to. But other than that, with this heavy channel, we're gonna use grade eight bolts all the way through the floor and put plates underneath. So if anything does happen, we'll be as protected as we can. And so the other thing I left out there was we had the, the floor came in over here. Actually, th this, is, this would be out in the air right now. And we had it, it ended here. So Joe and Shelly were looking at it and came up with make this go straight across. And people kept tripping here too when they came in. So we think this will make a more definite, a more visible step. And then when this chair turns, it, she's got a place for her feet. And then when we go eight inches back, she'll have a place for her feet in the front. So this seems to be coming together. It's gonna work well. And if it doesn't, we'll just change it again. So we'll make those changes, then we'll actually set in it and use it, see how it works, and then go on from there. So I marked on here where eight inches back would be. Oh, so the front of it could be, okay. The front of it goes there. Is yeah, it gonna so work? That's, yeah, this is the line. That stays the same, this will just. That's how far we're moving it back, eight inches. Uh -huh. So this hangs an inch and five sixteenths below the box, and that's our eight inches. So here we got one and seven eighths. Ooh, so it's so that that bar will end up going right across there. It That'll just be perfect. barely fit, huh? And then we just cut this arc out of this side over here. Uh huh. Yeah. Awesome. See that? Yeah. That's right where that So was. we're disassembling our tire well cover. Wheel well. We should be able to just cut that back corner off. And we'll still have really good anchors on that. So that because of the, the, yeah. that tubing so heavy that yeah. we'll get two anchors up here and then, and then three. three on that side. Awesome. So we just cut the angle. We just got to cut that off like that. It should slide right in. I'll let that slide back to there. Awesome! Okay, people, I hope this works. Because we just cut our beautiful base. I should say Randy just cut our beautiful It's baby. gonna work, baby. It's gonna work, right? Woo, that thing's heavy, huh? It is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Yeah, right there where we need to be. Look at that, people. Oh, yeah, we got a pretty good fit there, too. Wow, look at that. We did. You are good, man. I'm glad you are on my team. Wow, look at all that feet space I'm gonna have in the front. <laughs> this is exciting, people. And look, I'm way back in line with the window that's going to be up there. How cool is that? Okay, people, we are reassembling the tire well box. The wheel well. Holy cow, people, it fits. Of course it fits. I have my main man on the job here. Okay, guys. We got the base for the chair all cut in and in position. Um, we've got this closed off on this side. So everything is as it needs to be. So now we're gonna set the chair up there and see how it works. Two, four, six, eight. This chair's gonna be straight. <laughs> Great, not straight. Drop down in. Let me put a couple bolts in it so it doesn't 
walk around while we're experimenting. Look at this. I can just walk up here and now walk around. Oh, baby, this is going to be awesome. You're so sure. Oh, yeah. This is, this is going to be really good. Look at this. <clears throat> I can see out the window now. Let's see how it spins. Look at all the space that I have. <laughs> and you know what else this is going to do? what we were experiencing. When this is turned this way, this was crowding the door when you were coming in and out. So now we've opened that up behind even more. Right. It's gonna, this is a win-win all around, people. So we'll just have to compromise. We'll have to figure out to see if we can still put our cubby right here. We may lose part of our, our table. But I like it a lot. I think this is going to work. Double thumbs up. Okay, guys, um, we have got this finalized. We've lived with it for a few days and it seems to be working really well. And the other thing we have done is we've mocked up or framed in where the window is going to go. So we have decided on doing a nice big window so I can see out. So no heart window. Sorry guys. Um, but this is going to work really good because when my chair is spinned around and we're driving down the road, I have way more um, visual of looking out here. So it's going to be great. So um, thanks for watching you guys and we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.